This is an important one today. I feel very strongly that someone, at least one person, is going to have a breakthrough from this. You are addicted. You're an addict. And it's time to kick the addiction. What are you addicted to? You're addicted to the physical illusion. I see it. I've been there myself. I see the comments asking, yeah, but how do I manifest this? How do I manifest that? You manifest anything in the same way that you would manifest anything else. Nothing at all is any more or less valuable. Nothing is different. Everything, every location, thing and time exists in a single point. And you, we exist in that point and thus we already have everything we could possibly want. We're just resisting seeing it. But more to the point, the whole point of this video is that you, and I've been there myself, I remind you that we are addicted to seeing our manifestations in the physical world, in the physical illusion. But that is just a side effect. That's not the goal. That's just the bonus. That's the pat on the back from the universe saying, good job. All right, so let's like, let's lock it in. It's in your physical reality now, but that's not the goal. This is like, <laughs> this is like doing well on your assignment in school so you can get the gold star. The gold star doesn't matter. The fulfillment from the assignment, from learning, from completing a task, doing something of substance, that's what matters. But we're all addicted to the gold star. We're doing it to get the gold star. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Why are you putting in all this work? Why are you studying for hours on end to get the gold star? Forget about the gold star. It's inconsequential. The gold star is a direct result of you doing well on the test, on the assignment, whatever it is. So what is the assignment? The assignment is to realize that this game of life isn't about winning and losing. It's about realizing you've already won. <laughs> it's so simple and so beautiful and so fulfilling. And yet we resist this message. We fight for our limitations. I can, I can see and feel the desperation in the comments and I feel for you because I've been there. How do I manifest this? How, I, how do I manifest that? I feeling, I'm feeling stuck. How do I get out of this rut? You're not in a rut. You never were. As long as you hold on to the idea that you're manifesting the gold star, that you're manifesting anything physical at all. As long as you hold on to that, nothing's going to change. The rules, if we want to call them that, are very simple. And we've been aware of them for thousands of years. As within, so without. Yet we keep looking without expecting it to fulfill the within, but it cannot work that way. There are very few rules that we cannot break, but that is one of them. Look at any manifestation, YouTuber or coach, no one, no one will tell you that you can fulfill yourself from the outside in. It cannot be done. That is not the point of the game in which we have chosen to play. Why would a God come to the mortal realm and forget who it is for the sake of just doing things, phys doing things physically, just like grinding and you know, working hard, busting your gut just to make some money. Why? 
Why would we do that? No. The point of this game is to realize that we have already won. So stop stressing yourself out. Stop chasing. We know this doesn't work. Remember the analogy, the example of, of romance, dating. We know that when we chase, they just run away. The more you chase, the further they get. And the same is true for everything you could possibly want. So you have to let go. You have to rest. Float in the stream and let it take you to your desire. The stream leads to everything you could possibly want, yet you're fighting against it still. Why? <laughs> I know why. I know why. And I suspect you do too. Because this illusion is very convincing. That's the whole point of it. It's, it's, it's meant to fool you so that you, you think there is a struggle so you can have a choice. This is the beautiful thing though, like it doesn't take hard work. In fact, the harder you work, the, 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 the longer it takes to get what you want. <sighs> Let go and accept. I suspect that many of you, regardless of the strength of your conviction, there's a little piece of you that if you ever actually got what you want, you'd be like, oh shit, what? You're not ready for it. You're not expecting it to happen. This is why when you stop caring, when you don't give a shit, things happen for you. When you forget about what you wanted, what you were trying to get, it happens for you. This is why there's that old stereotype of why, why, did the ass why does the asshole always get what he wants, right? Why does the nice guy finish last? Why does the asshole always get what he wants? Because the asshole doesn't give a shit, dude. Now, this doesn't mean that you have to not care about anything, but you have to trust. You have to let go and you have to trust. You have to know. Know. And stop looking without for what you already possess within. Stop looking. A watched pot never boils. It's all, it's baked into our language, man. All the old cliches. <laughs> People like to disregard them because they're cliches, but why do you think they're cliches in the first place? It's wisdom, it's true, it's real. <sighs> I don't know what, to, what more to tell you, honestly. It's uh, that thing, that thing that you so desperately want that person, the money. You have to let go and realize it's not real. Not only is it not real, it's, it's, it's so far removed from what it represents. It's the effect of a cause, right? It's like action is not the cause, it's the effect. It's the result that you can't control. It's the side effect. It's the gold star that you get for doing a good job. If you look at, at old hermetic teachings, they talk about good and evil, but evil is not murdering. It's not hurting people. It's, it's not following the law. It's resisting. It's trying to work hard in the physical world. That's what they define as evil. It just so happens that, that often that thinking, that thinking of separation tends to lead people to not be very nice to each other. <sighs> so kick the addiction. When you wake up, tell yourself, this place isn't real. Doesn't mean that, it's, that you, you just float through life and you don't do anything, but you just, it's like watching a movie, right? You don't watch a movie freaking out like, oh shit, I'm in danger. <laughs> not typically. <laughs> I hope not. You know, we know it's not real. We, we, we play along to enjoy the ride, right? That's what we're doing here. But because time is not linear, we both, we know what's going to happen because we choose 
what's going to happen. Imagine that. We remember what's going to happen. Retroactively, is that the right term? We remember from the future what has already happened. Because this isn't the present. It's the past. (laughs) So tell yourself this place isn't real. Tell yourself you already have what you want. It's already yours. You're already fulfilled. If we, if we want to think completely physically and scientifically, all this shit here is just electrical impulses, right? Even purely scientifically speaking, what we, we believe we're perceiving isn't what, what is actually out there. There's colors that we don't see. There's, there's wavelengths. There's uh, vibrations and electrical nonsense and god knows what there's gases and shit there's stuff out there we cannot see we cannot smell we cannot hear we know this to be true we're already disconnected from all that is out there on a physical level at least (laughs) it's already not real So the happiness that you want to feel, the fulfillment, it's in here. It's in here. That's the only place it can be. So stop searching. It's not out there. It never was and it never will be. As always... Take what resonates and discard the rest.